So we begin with the primary health system, our body and this being that we are with regards to how you are here to be nourished correctly. So the first transformation is the catalyst. Your primary health system is about enhancing your body's innate intelligence. So Ra would call it dietary regimen. <laughs> he has a funny way of naming things, very serious dietary regimen. Now really it's providing for the enhanced well-being of your brain's potential as the platform for your mind's consciousness. It's the structure, the physical structure of the brain. Now, all of us have very unique brains, very different way that we operate. So I'm gonna do my best to show you how your designs to operate correctly so that you can recognize when you're off track and when you're not paying attention to what the brain needs, you will notice that your cognition, your specific cognition, declines. So the first um, primary and foremost kind of conditioning is food, at the deepest and oldest, as Ra would say. And yet in later parts of his life, somebody told me, one of the analysts that knew him very well, one of his friends said on his deathbed, he said that he had made a mistake and overemphasized food. And she's one of those people that doesn't follow her primary health system and yet you know who's to know whether or not it's correct as far as her experiment I know for me it's been correct for me to go off my primary health system because the body told me so so everybody needs to pay attention to how their body is designed to take in the correct nutrition based on your design because this is a profound individual process and you can experiment with enhancing your body, your brain system, to align you to your unique and differentiated sensory awareness or cognition, we also call it. And you'll notice that there's like a superpower that you have. Your cognition is like your secondary authoritative process. It's your body's authority giving you information from the environment as well as like taking it in as well as giving you a recognition of what you can pay attention to that is your specific brain function. So this is like the coolest thing ever over here, the catalyst. When I took uh, a class from Becky Markley at IHDS, I think it was in 2017, she called it your inner shaman. So that's one of the things that we're going to be talking about. What is your inner shaman? How does your inner shaman function? How can you tap in to and get in contact with that inner shaman that tells you exactly what is correct for you or not in alignment with how you explore your conditioning and what is correct for you when it comes to diet, food, and the body. Now, this is not about good food, bad food, but it is about looking at the genetic nature of your body graph because we can see planets that are standing there opening doorways to gates providing a need biologically for salt, for sweet, for fat, for meat, you know, for the red mammal meat versus the white chicken, fish, bird, reptile meat versus the things that are you're going to need in regards to the fuel potential. So maybe it's carbohydrates, the right kinds of fast burning fuels for you. And so we are going to observe how each of you operate through your unique sensory cognition, which is how you feed your brain, and also exploring what does it mean when one is left versus one is right from the brain system, because this is your form's intelligence that you need to pay attention to. What happens most of the time when people come to human design is they completely ignore their body, their body's wisdom. And this first transformation, the catalyst, is going to help you get in touch with that innate body wisdom so that you are more aligned to the form principle and more understanding of your uniqueness. Because remember, this is the brain and this is what the mind does not have conscious access to until it is expressed, until it is understood and experienced. So we're going to have um, information as far as whether you're designed to be somebody who is needing and requires intermittent fasting or someone who is required to have a feeding of the brain at regular intervals. 
You know, it's, it, it's not just a simple matter of left or right. You're going to have to look at the deeper layers of or analyze the complete body graph as well. So that's one of the things we're going to do in clinic. Now, the second transformation, Ra calls the cornerstone of the body and the primary health system. And this is showing us our physical longevity in the environment. It's a reduction of resistance when you are nourished from the outside in because you're in the right place. So the first transformation was nourishment from the inside out, what you take into your body physically through food, through digestion of information, through people. It also behooves you to understand how your body is designed to function as far as the way in which it is aligned to having ease in the environment. When your form is operating in alignment, then the next step, the cornerstone of your health is to be where you have a reduction of resistance, you know, less stress, less pressure, could be literally less pressure on the body, you know, air pressure, or more pressure, depending on how you're designed to function. So through your experiences and your experiment with this, you're going to meet the right people, places, situations, which shape your learning, and what ultimately may become your highest wisdom potential in life based on the environments that you frequent. In some environments, your brain won't work depending on what your particular frequency is with regards to the interaction of the first and second transformations together. And in other places, you'll find you are way more expansive and clear thinking. So this is about meeting your correct trajectory through your strategy, not trying to go, you know, synthetically impose yourself on some new environment because Lavina says, this is what your chart says. No, it's still about seeing how the environment affects you, how it conditions you, observing how you're designed to function through that physical location that facilitates your exploration of the effects of what this environment is like. It's like, you know, you're a fish and you're in a, designed to be in a certain kind of water. Or you're an automobile and you're designed to drive through a certain kind of terrain. That kind of thing can deeply affect, profoundly affect our physical longevity. And that's a really cool part of, we'll also explore the left and the right nodal environment too, when it comes to where you're at. Now, between this part of the course, the first and second transformation, and the third and fourth part of the transformation, I put a pause in our exploration. We go look at dream rave. So for those of you who haven't explored the dream design, we're going to look at your type change and your weak point. It might be a surprise, but um, it is a fact that we have a different design at night. It's 88 degrees of the moon's movement before you were born, so it's a different imprinting. And a lot of the gates turn off, so it is a different design, period. Most people turn into reflectors, but some people, like my husband, goes from projector to generator, and oh my God, does that mean a different kind of quality of sleep for him, and especially me if I'm trying to sleep near him, which is why I don't. So that's another uh, little piece that I found really helpful and practical that we're going to add into this particular course at this stage.